Hi everyone, it's Jonathan. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day and a great week. Um, I'm very sorry for this uh, delayed video, but uh, well, as you can hear, my voice is a bit messed up. <coughs> sorry, um, and uh, that's the reason why I was not able to do this video before, uh, before today. And uh, actually, my I didn't have a voice. Uh, I had practically no voice a few days ago. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a great improvement today. Anyway, uh, this will be a pretty much a follow-up video about uh, the previous video I made about how to make perfume. Last uh, In the last video I made uh, this perfume with you and, uh, and I showed you the other one I made before that. And <clears throat> as I said uh, previously, uh, the, the perfume has to mature for about a month before you can actually smell it and decide whether or not it's really good or not because during that month all the molecules will really blend together and will make a whole different scent for the perfume so this is what we're going to talk about today I'm gonna spray this um, because this uh, it's been a month right now I'm gonna spray this um, little baby on my skin well those two actually and I'm gonna well, oops and I'm gonna describe what the, what the scent is uh, pretty much and uh, how I like it or not. <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell but I actually used uh, a, b a little bit of this product already <laughs> because I was really uh, really pleased by the, uh, with the scent and so I really wanted to try and it, I, I sprayed this uh, on my clothes every other day because it was really nice on the mornings to have a uh, a fresh scent on, on my skin. Well, on my on me, not on my skin, but anyway. <clears throat> as you can tell, my brain is a bit messed up as well for, by the cold. Anyway, uh, so let's try this uh, Eau de Cologne kind of perfume a month after it has been made. Let's try this. Okay, so the very first spray, I mean, just after it's sprayed, it smells really good. <clears throat> Sorry. It smells really fresh. I can definitely smell the all the, the, the bergamot, orange, grapefruit uh, mix, the, the top notes. And it's really, really nice. The, the Petit Grain, which is the bitter orange tree leaves essential oil, does really come just after that. I sprayed this on my on the top of my hand. It really, it really, really smells good. <clears throat> and just after that, uh, I mean, it's only a few seconds after the, the spray, but I can already feel that the, the citrus scents are, well, they're a bit gone. Which is kind of natural, because obviously the, the citrus essential oils <clears throat> and the citrus scents uh, in general, they will fade pretty pretty quickly. That's just uh, the way they are. Yeah, and I can definitely kind of yeah, I can definitely uh, smell the the middle notes, the the rosemary, a bit lavender. Yeah, this is really nice. I, I'm kind of pleased because I at first, well, when I. Uh, when I smelled uh, this the, f the first day after I made it, it was really much the, the it was really the the citrus that gave me the the scent, but I couldn't really smell anything else or nothing really complex and <clears throat> and right now it's something really really different. So you really want to wait uh, a month uh, about a month after you made a natural perfume <clears throat> to really have to to really decide whether or not you're gonna you're gonna keep it or not because it's it's really different I can still smell a bit of the, the grapefruit the bergamot and the citrus the other citruses but I can really definitely nice uh, I get a definitely uh, I get a nice smell of the the lavender notes the rosemary so the middle notes that is Yeah, that's really, really nice. So I'm going to wait for uh, a few minutes 
so that the, the top notes <coughs> uh, can go well can, can go away can fade a bit and so that the middle notes will be a bit stronger and that the bass notes which are about 10% of the, the mix uh, that's the cedarwood patchouli and um, what did I say cedarwood patchouli and sandalwood yeah uh, these are the, the, the bass notes and they will take a bit more time to uh, to emerge and to uh, to give their full personality, let's say. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so I'm gonna wait a bit, and so I'm gonna try this one uh, in the meantime. This is a mixture, uh, is, a, is a juice, like uh, I said in the other video. I made because, um, well, I think I already talked about this, that in the last video, but anyway. Um, this is a, a, a mix I made because I, I'm a, a really, I'm in love with anything that is sandalwood, uh, benzoin, um, frangipani, or orange blossom, really deep, rich smells. I'm really in love with all of this. And so, <clears throat> a few months, maybe a year or two ago, I made a mixture using sandalwood, cedarwood, things like that, um, benzoin, absolute, labdanum, or things like that. Uh, and I, uh, but I couldn't really have the nice ingredients, first of all, and I couldn't really have the, the proper mixture done so I could smell what if I felt if I wanted to do a perfume or whatever this was an, it was not really a good thing anyway anyway so I'm really really excited to to to, to smell this because well I, I really and I, I must say I really didn't smell this at all during the month so I'm really I'm really uh, curious so I'm gonna I'm gonna spray this on my right hand <clears throat> oh wow wow oh my god that is oh that is gorgeous oh oh I'm in love with this oh I, I was not even smelling my hand I could already smell all the the, the, the the jasmine, the frangipani, the sandalwood. Oh, that's... Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really giving you the live commentary of this, uh, of this uh, experience, as you can tell. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is everything I love from the, the, the sandalwood, uh, the mere ben benzoin, jasmine, orange blossom. Wow. So this mixture is... Uh, top notes of orange blossom, mandarin, lime, um, middle notes of, uh, well, I'm obviously gonna show the, the notes on the screen, but I'm still gonna talk about this. Uh, middle notes of jasmine, champaca absolute, and frangipani absolute. Champaca is, a flower, is, a, is an orange flower uh, that is used in, uh, in Bali to scent um, incense for, for the temples and many other things, but mostly incense. And uh, and it smells really. It's it's really one of the most incredible scent I have ever smelled in my life. Really, and in that perfume, in that in that mixture, this is oh my god, wow! And the base notes uh, of this mixture is sandalwood, myrrh, benzoin, and labdanum, which is uh, in Latin name is cistus cistus ladaniferus. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna show this maybe on a picture on the screen or whatever. It's and the and lab denim is really something really deep, really rich. It's like almost animal. It's really it's it's one of the most uh, smoky, deep, rich scent I have ever smelled. It's really powerful and wow. I mean, this mixture is ah. And the base notes in this <clears throat> these two. These two perfumes are pretty much the opposites uh, because this one is really top notes and this is really bass notes. Uh, so if you ever do, if you ever try perfumes, I would recommend you doing two batches. One formula uh, with bass notes um, as the core and one of with top notes as the core because you will really have the differences. You will really notice a difference between the, the two and you will be able to to feel what's the what's the kind you prefer something that that will last on your skin or on your clothes or whatever you spray it on 
uh, something really deep reach, uh, more a winter scent, winter or cold weather kind of uh, perfume. And this is much more for warm or springtime, you know, something much more fresh or you're, something that you're just going to spray after uh, your shower or just to give you a nice, uplifting, fresh scent. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, and so this uh, this has pretty much, yeah, this is about 50% base notes, 50% uh, of, of uh, sandalwood, mirror, benzoin, things like that. So this is really heavy and... Oh wow, that smells wonderful, really am. I can't stop sniffing my hand right now. Oh, that's awesome. That's really awesome. The scent of I, I was really I was really curious about this because at first, <clears throat> well, I love every single ingredient in this in this mixture, but I couldn't really feel I mean I, I was able to really smell the difference the different notes in it, but after a month and that's why you want to wait, because after a month, the perfume will really change. And you really won't be able to, to, to um, well, yeah, you will be able to smell differences, but the, the different notes, but you can really tell that they are, work, they are working together now. Just like a chain, not different uh, elements that are separate, you know? Oh, wow, that smells really good. <clears throat> so, uh, back to this one, this little baby, the, the one I made with you. Uh, I think it's about uh, three to four minutes right now since I sprayed on. And so, okay, right now I can. It's it's actually really interesting because, as I stated, uh, as I said before, uh, when I used this. Um, this perfume before it was done, really before the the month has passed, the 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 citrus part of the scent faded really quickly, and now, <clears throat> and now even a few minutes after after I sprayed it on my skin on my hand, I can still smell a bit of the of the lemon and the grapefruit notes which is really interesting <clears throat> and I can definitely smell now the, the most the, the more uh, wood part which is the ba which are the base notes because they are really it's about 10% base notes in this one so it's really really subtle it's not as potent as this as this one which is five times the the amount and and I'm saying this as I have a I have a cold, so well, my nose is not the most effective. Uh, <coughs> sorry, it's not the most effective uh, organ you can have right now. So I can't even imagine what this would have been when. Well, these two would have been if I had the full, uh, the full, uh, my, my full capacity, let's say, <laughs> of my of my nose. Yeah. This last it seems to last much more longer on my skin right now than before. So this is this is really fresh. It does smell like a uh, kind of uh, aqua di parma uh, kind of scent, you know, the fresh scent that you're still gonna have. Uh, you're not gonna have that that citrus blast you had when you sprayed it uh, after a few minutes, but you still have nice uh fruity uh citrus scent on on your skin and i and i believe if i if i had spread this on my on my um on my chest or in a on a large part of my uh, of my body uh i would really smell this much more this would be much more potent so i would be really able to smell this much more uh, easily and so i think i'm really de i'm definitely going to try this uh on a larger scale, one day this uh, this is really nice. I would I would uh, I was really afraid of the rosemary because this contains uh, rosemary, and I, I was afraid of the rosemary because I, I would I thought that it would be really kind of well I would smell like a like an herbal rosemary thing you know kind of thing you use on food, but uh, actually it's really subtle and. Yeah, it blends really well with the lavender, the grapefruit. I can definitely smell the, the grapefruit thing. It's hard to describe this with just words, obviously. 
but this is really nice. So after a few minutes, what this is, what this, uh, what does this smell? Oh wow, yeah, that smells obviously. That's ah, that is gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm so surprised. This is really something incredible. This does it. It still smells just like I if I just sprayed on my skin. It's just overpowering. That's incredible. Oh, this is pure sandalwood creaminess, rich. Uh, Oh wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and you can definitely smell the the bit of the jasmine in it. But the champaka flower does really really give something very special. I would describe the scent of the champaka flower. Um, <clears throat> it would be a bit uh, licorice, or not licorice, but I don't know, it has some kind of uh, a wine or um, sweet wine kind of scent. Ah, but it's, it's, it's like, a, it's, it's, a, it's a really beautiful flower, sweet flower. Very powerful. And when mixed with the sandalwood, it really gives a perfect mixture, really. Ah, that's incredible. I just can't stop sniffing my hand. I, I, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'll have to stop. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, I would describe this scent as really something you would wear. I would say that this is... The two scents are pretty much uh, unisex, really. For both men or, or women. Because... <clears throat> even though this one has a much sweet... Um, creamy opening. Um, like most... Uh, amber, rich, um, sandalwood, uh, um, feminine kind of scent. <clears throat> After a few minutes, you d the sweetness goes a bit away. And so you're really left with, uh, with something really rich, um, creamy, uh, sandalwood base. The sandalwood is incredible in this one. So, yeah, I would definitely say that this is the kind of scent you would wear on, um, on a cocktail evening or something like that, you know? When you go out for something that's really uh, a bit fancy, I guess. Or for really nice occasions, uh, a party or a birthday or something. Yeah, I could, I could feel this uh, when it's cold outside. You want something warm uh, to really warm you up. Oh yeah, that would be definitely the thing to spray on your skin or on your clothes. Well, this is kind of, uh, as you can tell, the, the lab denim inside of it gave uh, gave the gave the, the perfume this uh, this brown color, and I would not recommend uh, spraying this on white on white clothes or things like that, because it w I think it would it would stain uh, stain them. So I would recommend uh, if you're using anything <clears throat> in a perfume or if you know that a perfume you have. That's a general tip. If you know that a perfume you have um, contains uh, something that is uh, giving it a brown color like this, if the perfume you have is kind of brown like this, uh, just don't spray it on your on your clothes, uh, on white clothes or something like that, because generally generally it will stain um, stain the whole thing, because that it means it contains something that will be uh, well either something sticky, like benzoin or something like that, or uh, something that will be uh, hard to wash off after that. Oh wow, yeah. But uh, this is incredible. And this, yeah, and I, I still, I can, I can still smell um, the lavender and... Uh, <clears throat> I can still, I can start to smell the, the cedar wood. Just a bit of cedar wood, cedar note in the fresh blend. So, yeah, this is it. I'm pretty, I'm very, very, very pleased with, with both of them. They're really opus opposite, but... Oh gosh, this one is incredible. I'm really, 
I think I'm gonna have to do a, a full bottle of this one. Well, maybe not for this summer, but for winter time. I'm definitely gonna try and do a full bottle of this. I mean, a full tube of this, because this smells gorgeous. Oh, wow, this sandalwood is, oh, incredible, really. I don't know, it's like really, if you could smell something that would be a rich, creamy, uh, it's, it's a creamy scent, really something warm, like you would be a velvety something, with notes of wood, a bit of kind of a tanginess. Maybe that's because of the, the benzoin or the, the lime or mandarin, I don't know. Uh, but it, it's really something like an oriental perfume, really. Something like an amber-rich sandalwood thing. Oh, Tammy, if you're watching this, I'm pretty much, I'm sure you're gonna, you would love this thing. I wonder if I can send some of it to you. <laughs> well, anyway, that's pretty much it, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to do this kind of debriefing uh, video with you. <clears throat> I promise I would. Uh, my my throat is kind of hurting right now, so I'm not going to talk much more than that. Um, and I'm sorry if for the quality of my voice, obviously. I really, I hope you understood everything. <coughs> um, but I, wa I really wanted to do this, and I didn't want to wait anymore, any longer, to do this. So, I hope you liked the video. Um, leave a comment if you, wanna, if you want me to explain... Um, something else about the perfumes um, if you want me to do another video of perfumes I don't know if you want to if you want me to explain something else uh, just a detail about uh, the current uh, sale on Etsy because well I am currently doing an, a springtime sale on Etsy there, there's a minus 10% going on I will continue I will maintain this sale for uh, a few uh, well two weeks from, from now on until the end of May, pretty much, and uh, after that, this, the price will go, the prices will go back to normal. And I know, uh, well, obviously because I made them for a euro price. Uh, I know that the euro is pretty is really hard for for uh, compared to the U.S. dollar, and uh, so I understand that it's it would be really difficult for you to spend anything on uh, on this kind of product because the shipping is really terrible. I'm still working on a way to reduce the price of shipping, but it's really difficult because I'm not, well, I don't obviously, I can't obviously change the, the shipping price. And as I already talk, uh, talked about this before, yeah, you're not really paying for the real shipping price sometimes. So uh, it's really hard, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and work on this for the months to come because uh, I know that's the major problem. Many people like the products, uh, favored them or something like that, but um, I know that shipping is really a pain. So I'm, I'm, I will kind of, uh, I will see if I can work my way through that. Anyway, that's pretty much it, everyone. Um, I will be seeing you next time on the next video. I'm not sure when I'm going to shoot another video. <coughs> Sorry. But, uh, I don't know, I I'm going to think uh, of a new subject to to do, something else to do, uh, and uh, well, if you have ideas of yours, I would love to hear about them, and I will um, do a specific video if you ask me to, if the subject is interesting enough. Uh, so I hope you all have a great day, a great, uh, the, the rest of the week to come, and uh, I will see you next time, guys. Take care, bye-bye.